of sweat? Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh! Hey guys, welcome to Rec Room! Yes! So, how did I get here? First, let me introduce myself. My name is Harry Manlegs. Or, you guys can call me Harry, for short. Alright, let's go back. So when VR was new to the market, I started off buying into the hype and got myself a test VR headset called the Oculus Dev Kit 1. I was really excited to try out this new wave of VR, but because of the lack of the games, it just idly sat on my shelf collecting dust. And same goes for the Dev Kit 2. But then, then came along the consumer version 1, aka the Oculus Rift. And with the touch controllers, this really made it so immersive. And the game library started to open up, and I was buying hundreds of dollars worth of games. But in the end, it was still seemed like a gimmick. And thus, it also sat on my shelf collecting dust for months. Alright, so how did I get into Rec Room? It all started with this video. No, not this trailer, but... You're this just a baby boy. You don't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> um, immature? Yes. Juvenile? Yes, pretty, mu pretty much everything against the code of conduct. But this video really got me into Rec Room. I know, I know it's crude, but back then I found it to be the most interesting VR video, especially a VR social game. So I searched up the Oculus Store and behold, I found Rec Room. And I was blown away by the fact that this game was free. And uh, after playing and experiencing Rec Room for a while, it turned out to be just pure fun. And I started to create meaningful friendships with strangers from around the world. I guess I don't have to be a jerk to have a good VR experience. So how did I get into YouTube? Well, that's when someone called me a cheater in dodgeball. So I started to stream my point of view. Although the person I was streaming for didn't care to watch it, but some people did. And so with that, I started making Rec Room videos. So when I created this video, it's not to brag about my experience or like to <laughs> flex on you guys. It's pretty much to express how grateful I am to Rec Room. Having you guys watch my videos really fills my heart. For rec room that changed my life for the better. Let's fast forward a little bit. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yo, do you want to visit the rec room office? Yes. I. I mean, yes, please. Okay. Cool. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And packing has begun. So Rec Room invited me and the community team members to visit their office for three days. And I was extremely excited the fact that I've never met anyone outside of Rec Room, let alone the team responsible behind the game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> These are really colorful doors. I like it. They were. Oh my god. So I just got into my hotel, and the community team thought it would be really cool to meet up at a local restaurant. Yes, I was so nervous and excited at the same time. I had butterflies, guys. And by the way, this $10 voucher though, what? I got coach calling. After meeting some team members, it definitely was a surreal experience. Everybody was on the Rec Room Discord on their phones. I was so taken back by that. 
It was freaking me out. And the voices. I'm sure they were shocked as I heard mine. But it was truly amazing sitting down and hanging out with people you've known for a long time. Holy crap. Yep, we're here. Is that a rec room here? Okay. And now, on to the couple of days in the office. <laughs> and here's the AG's office. Right. Okay. Outside of AG's office, Grizzly's getting busted from no go karts, guys. After spending some time in the office and meeting the devs, it was such an unforgettable experience. Loved every second of it. I met Sean, and then I met Gribbly. Oh my god. <laughs> I was starstruck. I couldn't believe I was sitting across from him. I'm like, whoa, this is the man that found a rec room. And when I met him, one thing I truly noticed is how very passionate he is towards rec room. It's really inspiring to see behind the scenes, guys. After a few days in the office that passed, Rekrum wanted to throw a pizza party for the community team members on Sean's apartment roof. And my god guys, the view is so beautiful. After we ate pizza and just hanged out with the devs, Emily shared a heartfelt speech about how Rec Room changed her life. By meeting her close friends, definitely had the room emotional. Then Sean came up right after and started to make a speech about how the community team members are like Spartans to defending Rec Room. It was very inspiring and with that, Sean gave out these adorable mini engraved shields. My heart was filled along with the community team. As it was getting late, people were leaving. I noticed that Gravely was getting ready to leave. and. Uh, I think I made it awkward by asking for a long hug. <laughs> I just want to say cheers to Sean for inspiring the community members. Guys, he deserves so much love behind the scenes for what he does for the community. Especially inspiring me to be who I am in Rec Room. And for Rec Room for bringing us together, I am so extremely grateful to have met you guys and to be where I'm at. Thank you for creating this wonderful game that I love called Rec Room.